In time past, and unfortunately in recent time, in some local in Nigeria, at a certain age, the girl child is put through one of the most horrifying experiences ever, when hot pestle or other hard objects are pressed against their still developing mammary gland. However, some medical practitioners have lent their opinion to these happenings. The report. It is usually a time of joy and lots of excitement when children turn 10 their first double-digit milestone. However, in time past and unfortunately in recent time in some local areas in Nigeria, at that age, the girl child is put through one of the most horrifying experience ever when hot peso or other hard objects is pressed against their still developing mammary gland. During our findings as to reason why this is done, some medical practitioners have this to say. Majorly, the reason why um, young girls have been subjected to this physical abuse is that they want them to look less feminine. Because if you talk about breast ironing, you are trying to make the breast flat as much as possible. And you know it is believed is that when a girl starts to develop breasts, that's when men tend to get attracted to them and so if the breast remains flat then men will not be attracted to them and if that is the case then issues of rape uh, and all these other biases will not occur. When young ladies start developing breasts a lot of um, women believe that the breast development will expose those young ladies to the risk of rape, to the risk of sexual assault. Uh, some of them may be forced into early marriages. Some of them may be you know, more vulnerable to being you know, enticed by young men or even older male counterparts. So it is usually a practice whereby they try to you know, press and flatten the breast so that the breast will not look as if it has developed to the stage it is expected to develop. According to records, breast ironing affects over 3.8 million women in Africa and is one of the five most underreported crimes that can be classified as gender-based violence when probed further, if there were more negative or possible positive attributes? There's no advantage. It is everything about it is wrong and terrible. Starting from pain. They have acute pain and they can have chronic pain. Now the breast tissue, by the time it is forced, to become flat. Other things can occur. Number one, when because most of the time they use hot or hard uh, material to flatten the breast, infection can be introduced. It can develop to abscess of a fever. And of course, this can predispose to cancers breast cancer later. Technically, the breast has been destroyed. The glandular tissue that is supposed to develop to breastfeed has been destroyed. Of course, this kind of women can have difficulty in breastfeeding later in life. This all about breast uh, ironing. There's nothing good. There's no known advantage. Everything about it is disadvantages. The, the major disadvantage is that what nature is try to, trying to allow to um, happen in this young girl, you, you, these women are trying to stop it. And whenever there is a natural process and you see somebody trying to stop it, at the end of the day, the young girl will end up with a lot of pain. It's, it, it, it's fraught with a lot of complication. We've seen some of those young girls, they end up having very bad ulcers on the breast. We've had a lot of them 
the breast will now appear like, like uh, that's why they call it breast ironing. The breast will appear so hard because they have effectively compressed the breast tissue on, on itself. We cannot directly say breast ironing can cause cancer because what causes breast cancer is much more uh, sinister than just pressing the breast. But it can cause ulcer, just like I told you, that one of the notable complications is that some of them end up with ulcer. Additionally, the preferred ways by which these acts can be nullified. You see, the solutions are simple. One, let us impact knowledge on our people. And that's what this station is doing. So that people know that there's no known uh, advantage, but rather there are a lot of disadvantages. Two, there are a lot of conventions against this. Let the country work on this to attack, to bring to book everybody involved <laughs> with this. There are a lot of conventions. It, it, that is against human rights, is against girls' rights, is against uh, woman rights. So everything about it is wrong. We need all these conventions, we need to bring it to bring it out for people to know and anybody found wanting should be disciplined according to the law of the land. We advise our mothers that please rather than try to be pressing the breast down, talk to these girls. Tell them what is good. Let the girls know what is good and what is not good for them. Encourage them to be well educated. The, long, the longer a girl child spends in the classroom, the less likely she is to be exposed to sexual assault, rape, and other forms of gender-based violence. So that is the advice I would rather give to our mothers. Afalasha Yo Amzat reporting for Captain TV News.